Hi, I'm Robert with Aquatic Life, and this is the Twist In Four Stage Reverse Osmosis Deionization Unit. That's a mouthful. Let's take a look at how to set it up and what's inside. Inside of the box, there are three colors tubing. You have blue, red, and yellow in four foot. There's this parts pack here. This parts pack includes a under sink water line adapter, your hose bib connection, an on off manual valve, your drain saddle with a gasket, and some mounting screws. Your cartridges, the sediment cartridge. The carbon cartridge, the membrane, your DI cartridge, and your twist in module with the flush caps, and the installation guide. So I'm underneath the sink here, and the first thing we're going to do is install the under sink water line adapter. So we'll turn off our cold water and then we'll remove this supply line. So we'll take your adjustable wrench and go ahead and loosen that. It's important to wrap the threads of your adapter with Teflon tape. You'll also want to put some Teflon tape on the faucet as well. With the Teflon tape in place, go ahead and screw on your adapter onto the faucet. Then you can take your water line and screw that onto the adapter. Take your wrench and tighten that up. Also included with your twist and filtration system is this hose bib adapter. So it allows you to connect to like a laundry room or the garage, maybe a faucet outside. All we did was add this Y connector, which you can pick up at a local hardware store. So what this nifty little gadget is, is a drain saddle. What this is gonna allow us to do is take the wastewater and go directly into our drain. Your drain saddle needs to be at least two inches above this P-trap here. So what I'm gonna do is take my ruler, measure three inches to be on the safe side, and then place the tape on the side where your wastewater should be. Now you can go ahead and make your mark on your masking tape and that's where you'll put your hole for the drain saddle. Now you'll go ahead and drill straight through the pipe. We'll go ahead and punch out this hole here in the middle and then we're going to install this gasket to our drain saddle. So we'll remove the adhesive that right over the hole. I've got a screwdriver going in through my drain saddle so now I'll take that go into the drain take this back piece and then tighten that down with these bolts. You'll want to leave the screwdriver in place until you've got the drain saddle completely tightened. The pivoting heads come up which will reveal the mounting screw holes and you can mount the twist-in module underneath your sink. Now we'll go ahead and mount our twist-in module. So we'll just pick a spot and then mark where mark our screw holes. So I've gone ahead and put the screws in place and left them out about a quarter of an inch. So now we'll put our twist-in module. Oh, I can't see. And then you can tighten them down. The yellow tubing is used for your supply water and that'll get connected to this port here nearest the sediment cartridge. The red is for your wastewater. That'll be connected into this port here of the flow restrictor. The blue is for your filtered water and that'll go into this port here. Now we'll install the supply water line with the on off valve. So the first thing that we'll wanna do is cut a piece of tubing so that we can go from the sink adapter to the on off valve. 
You don't want to use scissors because scissors can crimp the tubing and you won't get a good seal. To insert the tubing, you'll remove the blue clip, then push down on the white collar here. Insert the tubing, keep pushing, you'll feel it going a second time. Then you'll replace the blue clip. For the sake of time, I've already removed all the blue clips. So the first thing we're going to do is hook up our yellow supply line. So that goes into the adapter. Then we'll take this end of the tubing and go into the port closest to the sediment cartridge. Now we'll go ahead and do the wastewater. So we'll take our red tubing and go into the flow restrictor. And then we'll take this end and go into the drain saddle. And now we'll hook up the tubing to our filtered water. So this blue line here goes to a collection tank in another location. So I'm just gonna add this on off valve to connect the two blue lines. Now we'll go ahead and install our cartridges. So the first one is our sediment. Put that in place, twist that. We'll do our carbon block. Put that in place, twist that. The next thing we'll do, instead of putting the membrane, we're gonna put this flush cap. This way we can flush the carbon cartridge to get rid of all the debris. So we'll do it for the membrane and the deionization. Once you flush the carbon, you can remove the flush cap for the RO membrane. Then place your membrane in place. You want to discard the first 30 gallons of filtered water. Once you've done that, you can go ahead, remove this flush cap and place your DI cartridge. If you don't flush the membrane, your DI will not last very long. Having your filtration system underneath your sink is convenient for your supply and your wastewater lines. Now your filtered water is gonna require some thought on where you wanna keep your collection tank. For more information about the Aquatic Life Twist-In Filtration Units, visit us on the web at aquaticlife.com.